You may have recently seen me make a video about the, uh, the M4 MacBook Air, which I really enjoyed. And I thought it was probably the best Mac for most everybody out there. But for me, I've also made a video about how I'm struggling with the base storage allotments that Apple allows out there. The, the base storage for the MacBook Air 256, 512, if you want a terabyte, you have to special order a terabyte. And so as many people pointed out in the video that I made about the MacBook Air, the screen, not quite as good as the MacBook Pro, 60 Hertz versus 120 Hertz. And uh, you know, there were not as many ports, not a is no fan, et cetera, et cetera. For the, mo for the majority of people <laughs> won't really care about that. The majority of people don't really need to care about that. But for me, it all started with the lack of available off the shelf storage. Cause I don't like to special order things. Maybe it's cause I'm impatient. I need to be satisfied, you know, right away, I, I, whatever it might be. I wanted to be able to get what I wanted to get at the moment that I wanted to get it. I, I shopped around, I thought about it, and I decided that the MacBook Pro 14 inch with the M4 Pro chip, 24 gigabytes of storage and one terabyte of, um, no, that's the MacBook Pro 14 inch with the M4 Pro chip, 24 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage was kind of the Goldilocks just right thing that I needed to make this all make sense for me. So I went ahead and I took the MacBook Air back and got said computer. Now, another reason that I got this is I wanted to be able to expand the storage. How can you expand the storage on a MacBook Pro without being able to actually expand the storage? I'm glad you asked. I wanted to expand the storage on this and I'd done it with a work MacBook that I had. It had it had 512 gigabytes of storage and I didn't want to have to carry around all kinds of dongles of you know external drives, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I wanted to be able to keep all the samples, all the everything that I needed on my computer, I found a solution. And I don't know why I, I did, didn't think of this or use this before, but I found a solution. This is the base QI aluminum micro SD card adapter for MacBook Pro 14, 16 inch. It's a UHS 2 420A. The easy way to expand your MacBook storage. So this guy, what it does is you rip it open and these little blister packs are so annoying. I don't know why they still have them, but they do. So you rip it open and you find where it's supposed to separate. And separate it does. There are two different kinds of this. Uh, one is this base QI version and it comes in different colors. You've got space gray here. You can see there's a little lip that you can use your fingernail in. And then Transcend makes a version that actually has storage built in. But I didn't want to just lock myself into one drive and one piece of storage. So what I did was I purchased also this. This is an Amazon Basics micro SD card XC1, U3, V30, A2, one terabyte. And in order to use this, what you do is you, you stick this guy into the base QI drive, like so, right? And then you take the base QI and you stick it in here, like so. And suddenly, it's not exactly matched with the space gray color wise, but close enough. No, it's, it's in here and it's flush, right? Some might be asking me, Jason, uh, what's the point of having a slow SSD in your, uh, in your drive right here, instead of saving it for uh, an SSD that you have in your camera or whatever? Well, I'll tell you, it is a place that you can store just stuff that you need to have on your computer, but 
you don't need to have access to it all the time, or it doesn't need to be super fast in order to access it correctly. So now I have a two terabyte MacBook Pro with one terabyte of super fast SSD in the in the internal drive and one terabyte of slower storagey SSD in the base QI uh, micro SD drive. This is what I think is a, a really great way to double. You can well, you can even spend the money on a on a two terabyte micro SD card. So that's what I that's why I got it and that's why I ended up getting the MacBook Pro instead of the MacBook Air so that I can have 2 terabytes of storage on board without having to have any external SSDs or anything like that. If this is something you think might have helped you out, please let me know down in the comments below. If this did help you out or you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Come on back and see me again sometime soon. Otherwise, thanks so much for being here. My name is Jason. Until the next time, I'm out.